You guys, I am outside of Indianapolis, Indiana today on a beautiful trail, on a beautiful day. Really cool people in this state. It's just so nice. What I do when I'm out on my motorcycle a lot of times is I just kind of pick a random spot and just go exploring. That's what I like to do. I like to explore whether it's on the street, whether it's on the dirt. Everything's an adventure when you're on a motorcycle to me. That's what makes motorcycling so awesome. It's just different. It's just different. You smell the air, you feel the weather change, all that kind of stuff. I just think it's really cool that it takes me to where I want to get to and even places that I didn't know I wanted to go to. I am, of course, out on the Indian Scout Bobber. This place is called the Fall Creek Greenway and it's just a series of trails for bicyclists and pedestrians and inline skaters or whatever. Um, very nice. just such a killer little body of water here. I just love it. It's awesome. I don't know if I'd want to swim in it. I'm not sure about that. I don't see anybody swimming in it. It's times like this that I really miss my kids. I wish I could uh, maybe have a sidecar on my motorcycle and put June on the back and Lucy in the sidecar or something. Take them with me everywhere, but I can't do that. I went to a dealer because I wanted to find a bag, a tail bag for my luggage rack. And uh, they didn't have one, unfortunately. But wow, what a dealership, man. It's huge, like all, the amount of, and they had an old Indian for sale. Thursday morning, day of show, there's been a big change of plans. When I got this stainless steel drum workshop kit, I totally had it in my head that it was going to be the end-all be-all. Now let me tell you something, disclaimer, right off the bat, it is a flippin' awesome drum set. It is stellar. It's beautiful, it's well made. As far as stainless steel drum kits, it is absolutely the best one I think I've ever seen. In my particular application, it's just not working. I just love wood that we need to go to wood. So, we're flying in a wood kit, and we're going to go set that up at the gig. All right, so we're going to head down to the venue and get these drums going. we got to get going on this. I just got to the gig right now on the motorcycle and I'm going in to take a look at the drum kit. So, yeah, this is kind of a big deal. I'm gonna talk more about it in a little bit. Here's the loading dock. There's Rob Stevenson. He's How counting. you doing, sir? 15, 18, 19, 7, 5, 1. Damn! Sometimes. New kit, here. I'm gonna go fuck with it right now. All right. I saw it. it. Looks good. Yeah. All right. Let's see how it sounds. All right. We're going out on the stage. I got here as fast as I could after I did all these interviews. Yeah. There he is. Hey man, there what's up? To check it out. You see what I'm doing? Which makes total sense, dude, because I think it's a two-part project. I really do. Because we got to move cups, we got to swap Kelly's shoe and uh, and the heads. But we got all day too, so. I'd have to bring those bottoms up a little bit too. But I like the smaller lugs. I love them. They're fucking awesome looking. What we got here, guys, are the kick drums. 
putting Aquarian Super Kick 2s on this. And then uh, we're going to try to get this guy up as quick as we can. All right, so now the next thing that we're doing is I'm getting the heads together. Um, it's like a mad dash to do that right now. So this is what I've done so far. I've done one head so far. This is what it looks like. And basically they are stickers. There's stickers and this is from Rider Graphics. And I wanted, went with a racing stripe vibe. And so I gotta match the other one now. So you can watch me do that. Does this look right is the question. <laughs> After a long morning and a long afternoon, we got the kit up there and we got it sounding good, don't we? Yeah, I, I think it sounds really, really good. I really do. You don't have to appear in this if you can to. I'd rather not. Okay, he doesn't want to be in it. <laughs> I said, get away! Do you have a joke or anything? Um, uh, very low joke-wise right now. You're dry? Yeah, I, I'm... Don't have a full tank. You know what it is? Um, I ran this morning. And, I, and it was a extra long run. Yeah. So the first thing that goes when you run is your sense of humor. Very few runners are funny. In fact, I can tell you, very few long distance, it's first thing, first thing that goes. If I don't, I find myself to be very, very funny in the morning before a run. Then I run about an hour and a half in, all of a sudden I start to feel like the, the punch lines are ebbing and there's, there's really almost no humor at all. Can I tell you something? Don Rickles, not a runner. John Candy. Not a runner. <laughs> Sam Kennison, not a runner. No. I, I guess, I, I didn't put it that way. You're right. Did you ever think about that, Frank? Oh, Can I say something? 18 years I've known these gentlemen. I've known other bands. Couldn't ask for a better bunch of guys to hang out with. And I thank them. They're aces. Oh. They're very sweet. Former cop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can do illegal things around them now. No way. <laughs> Take care of each other and keep rock alive. See you around like a donut. Ooh, maybe it's coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming back. <laughs>